here we go from Gainesville. And this is going to be a touchback, and the Niners are going to go to work from the 25-yard line, as does the freshman Dwayne Thomas from the gun. Here's Jones right on cue, trying to run, lost the football. Loose on the turf at the 25-yard line. And make plays. Just one forced turnover this year for the Florida defense. Nearly had one there as Clemens, the tight end, gets a little shovel power this year. Rutledge, Henry Rutledge, the sophomore running back in the backfield. Jones, this is not his strength, trying to throw. Now tucks it and runs. He'll get to the 30, and that's it. Eric Wingo, number 15, and Caleb Banks, 88, doing a great job of getting Jones off his spot. And then from there, secondary, locking everyone up on the back end. No. Florida wanted to start fast, especially on defense. They've allowed touchdowns on the first drive against Utah. And again, last week against Tennessee. Good punt here from Grant Gagne, the senior from Hudson, Ohio. And Florida's going to have a long field. During the kick, holding on the receiving team number zero. That penalty will be enforced half the distance of the goal from the end of the kick. First step left of Graham Mertz and this is the first play from Florida tonight it is Johnson he'll cut it up and has some room he'll wiggle across the 15 yard defense the communication of this defense with all the shifts and motions Hayden Hanson the tight end he goes in motion now play action pass Mertz all kinds of time he's going to take a shot wide open as Pearsall and he's got it for a first step of 27. Well, that's a great protection up front. It's going to be a post route with a deep cross. And you see big number 67, Leonard, coming over to pick up the defensive end. And then the arm angle showing off. On first down, they go back to Johnson. Nothing there. It'll bring up second down and 10. The first half. Trey Wilson, very impressive freshman out of Tampa. He's looking forward to seeing him tonight. Looking forward to seeing more of Montrell Johnson. The food, the RPOs on top of it. That way they can run all the zone inside and out. And Tampa going with some tempo. It's Johnson again right up the gut for about five. Off, get four or five yards plus huge chunk plays last week. Lafitte Johnson cuts it up on the near side and gets inside the 35 yards. They thought they were ready to go. But since then, like you said, man, they've been on fire. Khalil Jackson motions out. Mertz looks to the right now, finds Jackson to the sideline, and he makes a tumble. Linebacker to bite up, and then boom, finds the whole shot down the field. Jackson again, he'll jump into the pile from this football team for the Gators. Fake the handoff, Mertz on the naked boot, throws to the end zone, and there's going to be a penalty flag. Prior to the pass being thrown, holding on the defense number 12, I think here is an automatic first down. That's junior corner Dantes Fagan. Ninth play of the drive. Play action. Mertz lobs it wide open. Arliss boarding for the Charlotte defense on the opening drive. Uh, it's the old tight end sneak route. He's going to act like he's blocking. Everyone's going to clear out to the right. Taking duties tonight after Adam Mahalik struggled last week. And it's 7 to nothing. The efficient. This offense got this, its groove on right now. Smack again, bangs one. For Ivy, the passing quarterback, comes in. More traditional pro-style quarterback. He's being chased from behind, under throws. Trim running back is in the game. Transfer from Iowa. And he'll get the carry. And this is what they want to do. They want to run up the middle. These guys the entire season of understanding that both of them will play. Third down and eight. A little pressure, batted down at the line of scrimmage. At that defense line, it's going to be hard to run on them. Number one defense in the SEC. Look at every bit. Like the number one D in the conference right now is Ricky Pearsall has some room on the return. Gets to the outside, hurdled the kicker. During the return, illegal block in the back on the return team number 29. That 10 yard penalty will be enforced from the spot of the foul, first down. That's Gators as they start from the 25, that penalty on the punt return, nullified a 47-yard return, but here's Caleb Douglas. Get Who did shine versus that Utah game, that touchdown towards the end of the game from number four to jump up and over catches. Mertz hasn't thrown an incompletion yet, he's four for four. Going to the air again, that pass is high! Oh, what a one-handed grab by Pearsall! Their time. Little ball was a little high, and one jumps up there and snags it. 
looking at the review. Here's what might be the catch of the year in college football this season. Yeah. Woo we just like that. 43 is now and then had a guy like Ricky Purcell who can run down the middle of the field and make one handers for to the field side. Here's Mertz getting pressure. He's gonna slide up and run. Graham Mertz on the hook and he'll slide to the 15 yard line. It was beautiful. Already a red zone touchdown for Florida, looking to make it two. Here's ETN. He'll power his way inside the show. Nice special, all right. They fake it to him. Mertz will hit Pearsall on the crossing route. He spins out of a couple of potential tackles. Here's Trevor ETN. Not a lot of operating room. And one for one on the season. Hit a 27 yarder last week after Mahalik ran into trouble and he bangs this one home. For He's well on his way. And Smack continues to smack the football through the end zone. AJ Green wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah, he did that a time or two. Trexler stays in at quarterback. Trexler Ivy. And that pass is going to be incomplete. But there's a reason why he's playing as a true freshman. A lot of young pups on this side of the ball for Florida. Ivy. Cox's arm fires to the sideline. This season, as he gets deeper and deeper, and then obviously into years to come. There's that Harbaugh play action. They'll dump it off to the tight end. Colin Weber, he's got a seam, and he's got a first down. First and 10 from the Charlotte 40. Shadrick Bird in the backfield. Ivy again over the middle, and that's complete. Dwayne Thomas, because J. Iris Mack is dealing with an ankle injury. He is their starting slot receiver. Ivy behind his man, and that was Thomas. One on one, that's who they want to go to. Pressure. Yard return into Charlotte territory that was wiped out because of a penalty. And now this one's going to bounce and roll inside the five yard line. Mertz doesn't have a handle on it. He says no, he's got a very high IQ. And as Johnson is cut down after a short game, got the first six passes on the opening drive last week before that injury. Mertz chased in the end zone, finds Pearsall at the 20. And he's going to get to the 28-yard line to go in the quarter. Oh, we continue to see the athleticism of Graham Mertz. We saw him run for a first down. We've seen him now two or three times on the run. A little pressure. So Ryan Osborne, the defensive coordinator for Charlotte, after the timeout, we'll see if he can make some adjustments to stop this Florida offense. As we're under a minute to go in the first quarter. Jackson goes in motion. A little bubble screen. There's a catch and a first down, but a flag down, and so is Grasser. High hit on the quarterback, number 11 of the defense. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Against first down and 10 from the 45 of Charlotte. Play action. Mertz to his right. Flings it out toward the tight end. Hanson can't grab it. Just one catch this season for Hanson. Now on second down, Mertz flushed. Looking downfield, comes back and throws a strike to Andy Jean.